Hey, it's Chapo. Welcome to Brickzar, your home for vintage Lego. And today, I was trying to decide what I wanted to talk about uh, to make a video. And I had recently received this email from uh, Google, YouTube, basically, about... Uh, Actually, all of, all of my channels and all of your channels, everybody's gotten this email if you make videos about your all-time highlights and things like that. And it's interesting that each channel has gotten a little bit different uh, highlights. And it's funny how they make all of it look positive. Um, for instance, one, one channel, I only uploaded 13 minutes of content for the entire year, but they were like, you wowed us with your 13 minutes <laughs> of content. So what we're going to do in this video, I'm going to look at uh, this channel, what we did in 2020. And maybe I'll talk about maybe some goals for uh, 2021. Um, we'll see. All right. So in 2020, uh, Bricks Czar went off script, <laughs> whatever that means. It says you kept us inspired by uploading 3,989 minutes of content. Your hard work, your hard work's worth celebrating. Let's take a moment and reflect. Hashtag my year in review. So we're going to go and look at my all-time highlights here. It says, you joined YouTube 2,961 days ago. That was from the time of this email, which has been a week or so, I guess, since I got that. It says, from your first video upload until now, your fans have smashed that like button 327,463 times. And I really do hope that none of you have smashed it. Because that's one thing I do not encourage, is you to smash the like button. You can click it, or you can hover over it with the mouse, but don't smash it. All right, it says, you've inspired some good conversations. Fans left 176,712 comments and shared your content 17,431 times. So to me, I always enjoy the comments. And I wonder if this includes the ones I deleted. <laughs> but I'm sure it's just included the ones that actually got published. But to think that it got shared 17,000 times plus times, that's pretty cool. So in 2020, by the numbers, it says 2020 didn't stop you from making moves. You picked up 5,797 new subscribers and 2.5 million new views. So, um, yeah, that's pretty good. I, um, I really would like to improve that, but my goal for 2021 is to not ask people to subscribe. But I really want people to subscribe but I'm not going to ask people to subscribe. And the 2.5 million views, I'm pretty sure I can do better uh, than that, but we will see. But uh, the goal is to get more subscribers than this year, next year, but not ever ask. So it, it's an unconventional way of growing a channel, I know, and it probably will fail epically, but we will see. It says fans took 132,943 hours in 2020 to watch your YouTube channel. So that's great. I'm over the, what, what is it, 1,000? No, 4,000 hours of watch time. I got 132,000. <laughs> so pretty good. It says your fans can't get enough. Your videos receive 68,362 likes in 2020. So 68,000 likes in 2020 versus... 327,000 all time. Hmm. Seems like I'm getting more likes this year proportionately compared to the other years. I don't know how it compares year over year. So 2020 feel good moments. Uh, you kept in touch with your YouTube community by responding to 27,947 comments. That's just in 2020. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of, t you know, I don't really think of me getting that many comments, that, that number, but to think that these are the ones that I've responded to, 27,900. How long does it take to respond to that many? So um, I'm just glad y'all left enough comments for me to respond to. Thank you. Uh, that's a lot. 
Uh, fans returned the love by leaving 131 hearts and 42 thumbs in your video comments. So that's my comments. And I don't leave as many comments, I guess, enough comments on other people's channels. There are a lot of channels that I'll watch their videos and I almost never uh, leave comments. In fact, there's this one channel I've been, I'm almost, I'm almost done watching all of his videos. It's not Lego related, but I've only left comments on two of his videos. And I've watched, and I've watched these videos from beginning to end. The whole video. And, so, and there's some of them I've watched multiple times. The whole video. And so it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm not commenting on it. Now, maybe I should. So that's everything uh, from my year in review uh, from this uh, follow-up with, um, with um, YouTube. <clears throat> so 2021, the goal is, I, I, I do want to make a video every day, but seeing how I feel today, I may not be able to continue that. Uh, it's just a fun personal uh, challenge to do. And I want to continue to do updates as I, um, I'm filming down here for cleaning the room, reorganizing everything that I've been doing over the last several years. Uh, I'll continue to do those updates. I do want to do things with, regarding the wanted list. I just realized uh, this past week that there were some, some train sets that I thought I had that I don't have them listed in any of my my set lists on brick set, which is pretty it's getting accurate. It's like <laughs> as far as train stuff, I've pretty much been through every box, and I don't know how I've missed these. And so I'm going to be adding these things to my wanted list. I may actually get some of these, order some of these things before 2020 is even up, but. I want to work on completing things, so I might do more with brick sets, showing you what I have, what things I'm working on getting. Uh, as like with each video, maybe do like something that's on my wanted list, whether it be an entire set, an instruction manual, parts like that. And I haven't done a lot of uh, brick link stuff uh, from the buying perspective. I've done a lot of things about brick link as a seller. But I probably need to do more things like buying. Like I've never sat down really and just recorded my whole process of when I go to a store. In fact, when I go to Brick Bricklink right now, I have um, I think like 30 stores that I have shopping carts in the store. <laughs> it doesn't mean I'm going to buy from those stores, but what I do is I say, okay, I need that item. I don't need anything, but I'll, I need that. I need this. I want that, and so I'll put it in my cart, but then I'm like, oh, he charges 5% PayPal fees. Oh, by the way, um, I think that's against the terms of service uh, to charge those fees, but people do it in Europe anyway. Uh, and I try to avoid buying from those people. Uh, I don't I don't want people, that, you know, just rate, I would rather them raise all of their prices by 5% than to lower them by 5% and then charge me 5% on the PayPal fees. It's the same amount, but psychologically I would feel better uh, if they did that. But, yeah, you know, I keep those shopping carts full because I might find another store that has the item at a lower price or better condition, or I might have other items from the, the same store that I want to add to it. And so, yeah, I got like 30 stores right now that I have shopping carts that I haven't hit the purchase button because I'm still shopping around. Uh, so I might do more videos about that, uh, buying on BrickLink. So yeah, it's been doing this. This is eight years I've been doing Lego YouTube videos. And I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope to continue doing this, sharing my love for the hobby with you. Uh, you'll be, be warned that you'll have times that I rant about things. You'll have times that I'm wrong about things. You'll have times that I have different opinions than you might have. Or I may, might like things that other people don't like. Uh, I got strange taste, I know, at times, but that's okay. It's okay for all of it. It's the, the great thing I think about this hobby is that we can all like different things but we can share that love for the brick. So you may like sets that I don't like or themes that I don't like. I may like things that you don't like, uh, but we both, we, hey, we like Lego. Or you may hate Lego, I don't know. 
who, 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 who really hates Lego? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching this video. I got uh, big, big goals for 2021. And I'll probably fail by January 3rd, but we'll see. See you guys in the next video. Bye.